everyone, this is Al from Chasing the Green Mushroom with another random one-up. Um, a lot of people like to ask me what I use on my computer to try and keep it clean as, you know, uh, registry repairs, defragging, all that stuff. I use kind of a bunch of free apps. I don't really pay for anything because I don't really believe in it. You can start adding up quick and a lot of the stuff out there for free, especially used in combination with one another. Uh, it can be fantastic and work out just fine and not cost you a dime. Um, so today I'm going to talk about one of my favorites, Advanced System Care. Now mind you, just because it's free doesn't mean it's free. You got to watch out when you install it. It will try and get some bloatware on there. It used to try and do this thing called spigot that the, uh, you know, the um, anti-malware programs would go to pick up and everything like that. You had to pay close attention. Um, and it's always saying there's a new version out. So, um, you know, every time you go to install the new one, you got to make sure you're not installing that bloatware too. But I mean, in general, as long as you pay attention when you're installing this thing and make sure it doesn't, you know, uh, grab a hold of your browser or any of that. And if you do it by accident, you can use other programs um, to get that off and fix that stuff. It's not like that intrusive. It's not that bad. So I think it's worth the risk. Um, we're going to bomb in my computer. I'm throwing it on here for the first time. So I'm going to set it up and everything. And I'm going to kind of show you some of the options to check off. So, um, you know, it doesn't kind of run too much. It has a hardware monitor thing that shows you CPU and RAM. And I like to shut that off because it's just sitting in the background sucking up CPU and RAM. Um, so I'll show you all that, how to set that up and some of the cool features to it. And if you like it, go grab it. All right, everyone, the program has been installed right at the very end. It asked me if I wanted to install some other stuff. I said no. And as you can see, it puts the icon here. Here's the little hardware monitor. And it'll put something down in your system tray. And let's expand this just so I can show you. So here, yeah, it's showing your disk. It's showing your CPU. It's showing your RAM. You could do a clean RAM thing. That's kind of cool. But in general, this thing sits back. It just kind of sucks up more than it actually helps. Um, you can take screenshots. I mean, it comes with a lot of cool random stuff that is interesting too. But I'm going to show you mainly what I use it for. I'm going to exit out of that right now. I'm going to go into the program. Um, this is the main scan thing. I'll show you all that has some protection stuff going on if you keep it running all the time I don't but if you're not using this for games it's perfectly fine you get some extras in the pro as you can see but what you get with the free is pretty interesting you have the toolbox here and then you have this boost thing that's really kind of cool where you can do a game mode and a work mode and shut down different services and background apps and if you're interested in that, check out my Razer Game Booster software tutorial. It pretty much works the same way. And then you have an action center over here. I don't really use that too much. Um, I want to click over here and I want to click settings. And the first thing I want to do is have it close when I close. I want it to load up just off the icon, skip user account warning, and I want to disable that performance monitor, that hardware monitor thing, and apply that there. That way it's only running when I want to run it. So let's go to care. I like to do select all because it's going to run all these scans. So as you can see it's checked everything off and we're going to start scanning here. And I want to show you two things. You're going to want to check off automatically repair. And this is one of the things I love most about this program. Is you can have it shut down the PC, restart the PC, hibernate, or go to sleep when it's done. Which I think is key. I don't understand why more programs do not have this option right here. Because I love to do stuff like this before I go into work or before I go to bed. And it's nice to know my computer's not going to run all night. It's basically a sleep timer. I mean, they invented the sleep timer in like the 80s and for some reason modern computers don't really have it but there you have it man there's the basic program thing it'll go through spyware threats and uh, the scanner isn't the best but hey man you're scanning for them registry errors it'll usually pick up some privacy issues junk files in and out problems 
shortcuts, registry fragments, performance issues, browser security issues is pretty key, disk error security holes, and disk optimization. So, I mean, it runs through all this stuff, automatically fixes them, and shuts down your PC. And as long as you do what I showed you up with the settings and everything, you're good to go where it's not sucking up more than it's actually using. You got to make sure you're not running this thing all the time unless you have a pretty powerful computer. And even then, if you're playing a game, it's just going to suck up stuff you don't need it to do. And it can generate a report at the end, which is really cool. All right, so there you have it. Advanced System Care, one of many programs I'll be showing you here that I use to keep everything fine-tuned and running sweet. I hope you enjoyed your random one-up. Until next time.